Hello, folks, and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. Of course, we got another live review here for you. Uh, today, we are going to get into two of Sagamore's finished rise. We have the Konya, well, port finished, uh, and then also the, as the uh, thumbnail shows there, the Cognac cast finished. Uh, both of these bottles, thanks to uh, 2290 guys there. Yeah. I am a Patreon. You guys should be too. Uh, yeah, thank you, Todd, Andy, for these bottles. Uh, very much appreciated. And thank you for uh, all the samples and stuff as well. I've received from them. Great channel. If you're not checking them out already, please check them out. Uh, but without further ado, though, let's get into the Sagamore Rise uh, and the uh, the two different finishes here. Uh, if you've never had any of the Sagamore Rye finish stuff, I got to say, highly suggested, really highly suggested. Um, oh, bumping the mic because they're fantastic. Some of my favorite rye, finished ryes on the market. Uh, so in glass B there, hopefully you can see oh, it's upside down. We're going to go uh, the port finished. Well, I'm having a hard time. This mic's kind of in the way. Anyway, port finished going in glass B and B for basically the best. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I hadn't really thought that through. And then um, C... <laughs> Glass C here, of course, for cognac finish. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to do a quick comparison here. I'm not doing them blind necessarily, just uh, kind of a comparison. Which one do I prefer? That said, though, I think they're both great. Uh, we'll start with the cognac. And also, cheers, everybody in chat. Thank you, everybody, for showing up here and uh, supporting live reviews. Uh, hopefully, you guys have something in the glass as well that's uh, quite tasty. But let's get into the cognac finish first here. Uh, on the nose, that cognac uh, finishing is certainly coming through. A lot of just nice, like, sweet grape notes. Um, and then that, that hint of kind of leather and uh, a little bit of a char note coming through as well as all the rye spice. Just tons of baking spices on the nose. Yeah, uh, really nice nose on this. And there, that sl slight uh, sour sour note there, I would say something like, almost like a, a green apple, maybe. Yeah, uh, really interesting combination of notes on the nose. Um, yeah, that leather note is quite strong. And there's a little bit of... There's actually a lot more charred and toasted oak notes on this than I remember. Um, well, let's go ahead and get into what matters. The sip. Cheers, everybody. Man, that is good. Very good. Um, I will say I wish that there was more of the cognac influence on the palate there seems to be a lot on the nose not as much on the palate it's mainly it's very rye forward on the palate which is fine uh you know if you're a big rye person then that, i think you're going to be very happy with this uh, certainly some influence uh you're getting a little bit of those leathery kind of rickhouse um funky dusty notes i guess you would say uh, on top of your typical rhinos, you know, your baking spices, your mints, um, maybe a little black tea in there as well. Yeah, but I, I would have liked to have seen a little more influence on the cognac, excuse me, for my personal taste. Oh, that said, I think it's a very good one. Now, though, uh, let's go palate cleanse and uh, get into the port. I've got a question here. And actually, I get this quite often, so I'm going to answer it live right now. I like those glasses. Where can I get them? So these are Libby's glasses. Uh, that's the brand name. And then, so there's a couple options. There's just the standard Libby, and I think they're just called whiskey tasting glasses. Or you can go a little more high end. And actually, I probably would because uh, these are a little thinner. Uh, I just use them for this because... Uh, I tend to, they tend to get banged up at doing lives. So, um, but the official Kentucky bourbon trail glasses are actually very similarly, 
very similarly shaped, and I would say a nicer glass. So those are the two options of this style of glass. Uh, both really good, though. All right, now, though, on to, as you can see, this is what I'm talking about there. See, got a little chip on this guy here. I don't know if that's coming through on camera. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if you're just looking for a nice set that you're, you know, want to have around for a while, I'd probably go with the official Kentucky bourbon trail glasses. Basically the same shape, but a little thicker wall. Oh, man. Uh, forgetting how good that port finish is. Actually, I forgot to do the nosing because I was just so excited to get into it. Um, on the nose, tons of red fruit, uh, strawberry, raspberry, just, uh, you know, all those sweet notes that you get in a port really coming through on the nose. Uh, a little bit of a sour note. Uh, you know, I would say that's kind of where I get the raspberry in there. It's a little bit uh, sour. And then the rye is there, but it's certainly covered up more so than you find in the Sagamore. You're getting a little bit of those baking spices that kind of, uh, you know, kind of cinnamon tingle on the nose, but not as much as you do here. Yeah, so the, uh, the port really shining through on this one. Let's go uh, another sip here and then we'll get into the palate notes. You know, another thing, too, just going side by side, I find the, the port to be a little more mouth coating. So if you like a little more uh, viscous viscosity, I guess, um, it really coats the tongue well. I find that this does that better. Uh, it just kind of has a nicer mouth feel to me. Uh, but note wise, I would say much more raspberry than strawberry on the palate. And then uh, quite a bit of those baking spices there, a little bit of a sour oak note. Um, so I would say on both of these, these are probably younger ryes. But uh, all in all, I think that this is probably my favorite, which is probably no surprise to you folks if you're fans of the channel. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I really love this bottle. I know both of these are pretty hard to find, but if you do, I think they're both worth a buy. Um, you know, I think it's going to really come down to just personal preference. I am more of a just wine drinker anyway, um, and so I prefer wine finished bourbons. But if you actually drink cognac and really like that profile, then this might be the one for you. Either way, I think Sagamore has done an amazing job with both of these, and they're both a fantastic value and a good buy. Um, thank you, everybody, for uh, hanging out on the live. For those of you watching in the future, cheers to you as well. And uh, as always, folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey. Cheers, everybody.